I believe that our ecology has many things to offer in terms of responding to these major questions we have today in this new paradigm of our ecology. Okay. Every, every time that I give a lecture, people ask me, but with our ecology, we can feed the world. So this is one question that we have to answer, and now we have the scientific uh, indicators already that we can feed the world. With your right hand, you start hitting the palm of the left hand with one finger only, one finger. So now imagine there is a very thin rain falling and starting to, to get the soil wet, Okay, because this is very important for us. So now... And tonight it will be the kickoff uh, for the Farm Experience Internship, which is a summer course what is, what is that is organized. Well, the Farm Experience Internship that we, that we call the, the FAE is a period in which graduate student and postgraduate student they spend time with farmers. And the idea is that they can experience what a farmer uh, has to experience every day, how they live, how they deal with problems, how difficult it is to, to manage so many things at the same time as farmers normally do. And those internships could be from, um, you know, uh, looking at one specific problem within the farm and trying to, to bring a solution to the farmer, to simply spend time with the farmer and help with the routine, routine um, tasks of, of a farm. What I like about it is that the way that the students can be connected with the reality, but in a way that they feel free to, to, to become part of this reality. So they don't go there as a technician, they don't need to give any advice, they, don't, they just go there to live with the farmers. And the result of it, after many years... Look, the idea of, of the farm experience internship is not that they become farmers later on. No. It's to, to have an, a different dimension in the way they, they learn about agriculture and ecology. For instance, a, a classical example is, is how a crop or, or a plant responds to the addition of nutrients. Right? So you can go to your lectures in the university and you will see uh, two axes, first of all, two axes, and they're always there. And in those axes you're going to have, for instance, how much nitrogen to put there and how much the plant grows and there is a nice curve. Well, try to find that somewhere in reality, and it's completely different. First, because there are not only two axes, there are many, many more. And second, because there are so much variability, so much heterogeneity, so many other things going on. And that gives you a multidimensional uh, perspective of how things are. Still, when you go back to the classroom and you sit there, we're going to ask you about this curve, and you're going to have to know this. But you will know this together with what you've seen in the field, and you will somehow judge that knowledge of those models, because those are just models of reality, with a different eye once you have seen things in the field. So what is the danger? Well, you know, if, if we follow with the same example, if this example of, of nitrogen, in the Netherlands, uh, let's say 20 years, 30 years ago, people were discussing uh, to reduce the rates of fertilization with nitrogen, because already uh, Know, those who were looking at the response curves and never going in the field, they were saying, look, if you continue applying, you're going to reach more production. So don't go for 500 kilo, go for 800 kilo, and even more if you, if you can, right? And if you would say, no, but I mean, let's not go beyond 200, because you're backwards, you're, you know? Well, that was based on experiments they made in, in pots or in greenhouses or in control conditions. When you bring that knowledge to a real field where the animals are walking and trampling and eating and doing everything else, then this response that you find in the greenhouse, you will never see it in reality. 
which means that your recommendation will be worse for in terms of economic terms, but also in terms of environmental terms, because you're going to be using a lot of resources and creating a lot of risks of pollution. But when you go to the reality and see how complex things are, how heterogeneous the fields are, how a farmer cannot plant today, that is the optimum day, but perhaps next week because he had a problem or his machine is not working, then you realize that that you're immediately going out of that model and then you don't get the response that you expected. So when you make a recommendation to, um, to a farmer, you need to do it thinking about this and not thinking about your theoretical model. And that is something that if you don't have the field experience, if you don't see how things work in the field, you will never realize.